and Kavanaugh's confirmation. I was thrilled and shocked to hear a public figure from Alaska, the only Republican to vote no on the confirmation, say that she had met survivors of sexual assault. She listened to her constituents. She believed them. From the age of 9 to 20, I lived in a small town in Alaska. The last time I was in that town, a group of women stood with me as I confronted one of the five boys who had raped me when I was 16. In the early 1990s, when I was living in California, I received a call from Maggie, a friend since elementary school who still lived in Alaska. Her tone was solemn. Lori Lynn, I have something to tell you. She said that she had just talked to another friend of ours, Rachel, who had been at the party where I was raped, a party Maggie hadn't gone to. Rachel had just seen Kyle, a boy who had been at the party. She told Kyle she was, he, she was angry he hadn't done anything to stop the rape. Kyle claimed <clears throat> excuse me, he could tell what was about to happen, and he didn't want to be a part of it, so he left. I think you should talk to Rachel, Maggie said. I called Rachel. There are details of that night that are seared into my brain, but there are also details that seem to have been erased. Rachel had seen Brad leave the room where I was. I remember my friends had been in another room smoking pot, and that I had left to get a cup of beer from the keg in the kitchen. I took a big slug, is that the right word? Big slug, I guess. <laughs> Sounds weird now. Um, and felt queasy. So I opened a door I thought led to the bathroom. It was a bedroom. After a few minutes, I heard the door open.